Hello everyone, this is Ryu here, and welcome back to Great Gree. As f as for happened for the last episode, we actually got the golden pepper from the kimchi trial. So now we gotta head back to the lake area. If you remember, the lake area is to is in the middle. I mean, it's in the middle of the land. That's um, it's north of Herbal Village, and it's north and right of the kimchi tribe. So now we're gonna go head there and. <laughs> Start heading on to the Dragon Jail. We fight another Firebug, which is a very annoying enemy because he keeps attacking with Fire 1 over and over and over again. So back at the lake area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up one more time so we can start heading our way to Dragon Jail. Now make sure before you do this, you also you have the Golden Pepper and you have 500 gold coins because even with the Golden Pepper, you have to still pay 500 gold coins to bar the boat to go to Dragon Jail. So now, with the golden pepper, and also paying the drag, and also paying the 500 gold coins, let's go across the lake. Halfway across the lake, you'll stop and it says something's coming from the lake. You'll put the pepper on the, you put your pepper on your sword, and then you'll fight this worm. This is the boss I was talking about. If you, without the um, golden pepper, we're basically killing you in one hit. After three attacks, it dies. You move on to the dragon jail. So now. So after getting out the boat, now we finish Dragon Jail. So let's start Dragon Jail. So in here, we're going to meet up with some new enemies. Um, there's actually one enemy in here that's called Salt Pork. To kind of give you a good definition of what Salt Pork looks like, he kind of looks almost like um, a human with a pig's head. I mean, he has like a pig's head with a human body. So he almost looks like... Um, Man bear pig, I'll say that. I'll kind of give that good description of that. He looks like man bear pig. So, after healing up, and we keep going around. Now, for this dungeon, it's basically a straight path. Just go from the beginning, go across the whole area. As you see the stairs in the top right area, that's what we have to go to. So, we find another melt mutt. And we keep going forward. <coughs> And then we find another one of these enemies again. I'm sure a lot of people, like I said before, once again, I have nothing to say about this. I mean, they're very, very creative about the enemies in this stage. And this is what I'm talking about here. Here's Salt Porco, as I call him, Man Bear Pig. Um, after after this chapter, we're going to see um, more of his sprite as an enemy as we move later on. And there's another Man Bear Pig we're going to fight off. So let's go fight off Man Bear Pig again. After three swings, he dies. And then we keep going moving forward. We go down these steps. <clears throat> and so down the steps you find some people here. What happens is though is that the people will basically uh, capture a tuna and then Sarge moved them to Dragon Jail. And so now they were forced to <coughs> excuse me, they were actually forced to um mine some minerals that actually give off high levels of toxins. So they were trying to, you know, take over the world with toxins. <clears throat> so once, so now, I mean, so now we kind of find that out. In order to save the people, we have to go take out Sarge. Now Sarge, even though I did kind of start off the, I mean, even though I did kind of start off the boss fight correctly, I did kind of mess up a little bit when I was fighting him the first time. Um, the reason why is this is because, because having, I mean, okay, so let me talk about Sarge at first. Sarge actually has physical attacks. He also attacks with poison. Now, besides that, he also has a new magic spell you actually get later on called Power. What Power does is, is like it says, it basically increases his attack power to hit you with. And so what happens is that uh, I totally forgot to equip the um, Medicine 2 to my to my character. So what happens is though is that with Heal 1, you can use Heal 1. The problem was is though with Power, he'll basically do, I mean, every time you heal, he'll hit you with the exact same damage you healed with. So most of the time, you're basically fighting a war of attrition to if you can take him down without losing HP, I mean, without losing MP, and without dying. So it's basically just a war of attrition. So the first time I fought him, I totally screwed up, and I kind of said, that's screw it. I, I screwed up. I just let him finish me off this one time, and I'll do it over again. So this is when, so as I died, and as you saw before, the um when I say when I when I loaded the game this time, instead of the arrow being on top of the three saves, it automatically went to auto save. And this is the good thing about this game, though. If you happen to die while going to an area, 
it'll automatically go to autosave. It'll it'll load the autosave. So basically, if you go to a certain area, it'll basically load you to like the beginning of the stage. You could try again, or if you're in a dungeon like this, it'll load you up. A, it'll, it'll load you up a floor where all the monsters are and stuff, where all the monster encounters are, so you can level up more if you need to. So now I get up and I start equipping some new stuff. I equip um the scroll. I, I equip the um scroll of um, medicine too, like I was supposed to do. Also, I equip silence because silence would actually do a pretty good job against him to stop him from um using his power technique. His power is failed, but unfortunately it doesn't work. I also make sure I save again, so just in case I died again, I'll be able to live in this spot. So once again, he kind of said the same line he said before, even if you lost against him. So first of all, try to fight him with silence, but all you really want to do is to just keep attacking him, and every time you um get low in HP, just use your medicine twos. Medicine two will heal you for about a hundred, I think I believe like a hundred twenty HP. And since you, I mean, I mean, I think since the highest HP you have is like 125, or like 100, yeah, 125 HP, you can basically heal from that. Use your medicine to heal, and then just keep hitting them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I'm sorry, I mean 125. I mean, I mean, I mean, here's your 400 HP. I'm sorry, medicine two here's your 400 HP, 125. I think about medicine threes. Yeah. Anyway. Keep on hitting them, keep on attacking, keep on healing yourself from 100 HP since he can't really do that much damage to you. And then after a few, after a few attacks, even with even with his power, he'll he'll die. Once again, he'll say "grr" like every other traditional boss fight does. And then Lollipop says, "Hurry up to solitary confinement." So after beating um, Sarge, we find another regain one. And then we actually find Lollipop's father, Doctor Bromide, and we find Spring Roll. So for right now, um, Dr. Bromine, he's basically dying now, probably because Sarge probably tried to kill him, or Sarge did kill him. So, um, the main character gives, tells Dr. Bromine everything that's going on, and then Dr. Bromine gives a document and says that there is another princess in the land of, in the nation of Curry, which will be the start of chapter 3 next time, so... She'll kind of tell you everything about, you know, with this document, giving her the document, giving this princess a document, the secret of biohazard be revealed and everything be fine. So now, after Bromai dies, the area starts to destroy. It must be a load-bearing stage area. And so now, you automatically pop back up, back in um, Dr. Bromai's and Lollipop's house. Um... Spring Roll kind of says thank you. Lollipop calms down for crying. She kind of said, you know, she wants to see her father. And then Spring Roll was was say, if you want to cross the nation of Curry or Chocolama, I believe I said it correctly, he'll give you his mountain gear. So with this, this basically would end chapter two and now start chapter three. This is Ryu here. Later.